Hi guys, Bran here, and welcome to another video. Today, it's not going to be a commentary video or anything like that. Today, uh, Gun Media, uh, at least on the day of recording this, the day uh, today, Gun Media revealed what their new game is going to be. What their, uh, if you don't know who Gun Media is, they're important to the 4v1 asymmetrical genre because uh, Gun Media created uh, Friday the 13th, uh, the Friday the 13th game that was like super duper popular and for the longest time was the uh, only competition that uh, DVD actually had in the uh in the 4v1 uh genre now we have plenty of like prop night vhs it's been kind of like a, a, a recent boom in terms of uh 4v1 games and you know that market kind of expanding but they have one of the og competitors uh to tb to tbd <laughs> to be determined to uh dbd is making their next game so let's go ahead and watch said trailer for uh said game If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. That should give it away. That should give it away. I haven't seen this yet, by the way. Hence the reaction. Man, that noise, that noise is more iconic than some of the characters in this franchise. <laughs> what? Hold on. Oh, we can't get rid of that. What's that? But yeah, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So their new game, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, okay, so there's a lot to unpack here in terms of uh, my feelings about the game. So we're gonna put this on the loop in the background while I talk about this. So this is an interesting development for me. Uh, as somebody who loves horror and has uh, watched horror movies their whole life, um, this is an interesting choice in my opinion. This is a very, very, uh, interesting choice for uh, a 4 going asymmetrical game. Um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre obviously, you know, makes sense in the fact that it kind of is the movie that sparked the slasher genre. Um, it is the most prolific and uh, popular uh, movie to kind of like set the trends of what every other movie after it would follow. Um, and that obviously follows Bubba Sawyer, uh, good old Leatherface and his family's exploits uh, as cannibals. Um, so it's very, very important to the genre, like super, super important to the genre. Um, but it, I don't know how that will work as a 4v1 asymmetrical uh, horror game. Um, because the reason it has to be, it's gonna have to be like vastly different than like the way that um, Friday the 13th worked because Friday the 13th the way it worked was like there was multiple Jasons you could play multiple Jasons from uh, many different movies um, and you had choice of different weapons and stuff like that and it was pretty in depth right it was pretty in depth uh, so if you didn't know this the Texas the, uh, almost said Friday the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise actually is pretty long uh, it's like eight or nine movies it, it's actually got a, a very very wide <laughs> amount of films in the franchise like a lot a lot like a lot a lot um and some of you may be like surprised or were shocked to hear that and honestly 1240 percent understandable uh because besides two which is kind of actually just a comedy instead of a horror movie they're all kind of bad <laughs> like the remake isn't too terrible i would think i think the i think the remake's okay i haven't watched it in a long time but the remake of the texas chainsaw massacre is okay um so the first one is obviously legendary and always will be i should do a horror movie tier list that sounds like a good video that i might do that after this that's a that's a smart idea anyways um texas chainsaw massacre the first one is obviously legendary the second one is a comedy so it's like totally completely different in every way it's, i think it's still a good movie but it's not like it for it, it's a completely different genre i feel like um and then the rest are just kind of bad besides like the remake which was kind of okay like out of nine films only having like two and a half that are good that's 
that's not really a uh I'm, I'm interested to see how they make this game work with its longevity because like i you know i've been saying is i the texas chainsaw massacre is not known f for uh being a franchise even though it is a franchise with tons and tons and tons of movies um the quality of those have been pretty poor <laughs> the, the, the quality has not been great uh at all so um the idea that they're going they don't have essentially what i'm trying to say tldr is that they don't have the the rich pool of films and content that they had to pull from with like friday the 13th because friday the 13th kind of leaned into the fact that it was bad and like made enjoyable movies and content as a result so you know even the bad movies are enjoyable because they kind of are aware that they're bad and they kind of lean into it uh texas chainsaw was the opposite like the only movie that even gets close to doing that is like two because two is just like oh well you know let's just make the movie funny nobody's gonna take it seriously um and then every other movie after that tries to take itself seriously and fails really really horribly <laughs> like really really horribly um so it, it's just gonna be interesting dynamic to see how they take you know how they expand the legacy of this franchise into like a full asymmetrical horror experience because the uh franchise is not as like rich as friday the 13th is um i was really hoping for a halloween game because that halloween um you know has more consistent quality <laughs> across more of its films um with halloween it's only like half of them that are bad um whereas you know texas chainsaw massacre there's only like two that are good two and a half that are good so it's like i don't know i don't know it's it's it's, it's a whisk it's it, it's whiskey it's whiskey uh it's very very risky uh we'll have to see how it goes uh with this um in terms of the game and gameplay they could literally just like <laughs> they can just make uh, Friday the 13th all over again and it will it'll do the same things and still be enjoyable right but you know like I said the longevity of it is what I'm interested in because like nobody I don't think anybody wants to play like like <laughs> like what are the, I, I love Friday the 13th I, I still fire that game up and it's like my my comfort game that I just play casually by myself I'll, I'll fire up and run around as Jason and, uh, and kill bots um, but like sometimes I'm like man I'm feeling like I feel like part eight today because part eight was on tv today or oh i feel like part three i feel like playing a live jason and not zombie jason like there's nothing in this franchise that i'm like man whoo i like really want to play uh matthew mcconaughey from new generation <laughs> like like there's there is no part of me that wants to do that <laughs> like there's no part of me that wants to do that so i'm, I'm interested to see what like what they put in place of that um in this game and how they're going to continue the longevity of this game with um the fact that you know the franchise is the way it is but and they also have a new movie coming out soon so that might dynamically change things they are doing like a kind of like a remake will situation like they did with uh halloween and halloween 2018 where they ignore the entire continuity of the franchise and just do a direct sequel so that's probably going to tie into this game really really well and we'll probably get a lot of content from that movie and if that movie does well and that spawns sequels that aren't terrible this game could have some quality going maybe that's the game plan Maybe that's like why they picked this franchise over there is just because like the new movie's coming out. And if that does well, you know, they have like a like a a pretty consistent longevity to follow after it with. Oh, that would be cool. That's a, I think I think that I, I hope now I hope that movie does really, really well, because that now, you know, the health of this game um, kind of partially rides on that as well. Um, yeah, this is just interesting. It's a lot of thoughts. It, it brings a lot of things to my brain, a lot of things like to my mind uh with this so um i don't know um i'm this this also does obviously raise the question uh that um will uh will bubba be taken out of dbd now if the license holders are like cool about it they'll let him stay but we've already had stranger things leave uh leave De uh dead by daylight because they you know they're starting their own games with uh stranger the stranger things license um so we might have to say goodbye to bubba and dead by daylight uh that's kind of like the obvious like you know thing here that's like sad it's like uh <laughs> why would you let your competition <laughs> because the, the games will be directly competing like this isn't like vhs where it's like largely different um gun media has kind of always made games in direct opposition to like behavior games uh like they've all they've always been compared to each other like uh f
um, uh, historically. Like, historically, they've always been compared to each other, and they've been historic competitors. So, um, <laughs> I don't think they would let DVD just kind of, like, hold on to Bubba, considering that they're, like, their biggest competition. Uh, I, I don't think that would make smart as a business move, so I can't see them following through with that. So we might have to say goodbye to Bubba and DVD. And to that I say, oh, no, I'm not going to get phase camped anymore, and I, and I don't have to worry about the controversies and stuff. Oh, no, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd much rather just go play um, this game if I want to play Bubba than play him in DVD or face him in DVD. I'm not going to be too heartbroken about it. I've never been a huge Bubba fan on either side, so it's just kind of like... It's whatever to me, but uh, he's been in the game for a really, really long time. And there's a lot of fans of him on both sides in DVD. So that, you know, it's kind of just, uh, you know, I think more objectively, it's a sad thing. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. I could ramble on forever about this, but, you know, this is the next game that's coming uh, in the the in the in kind of like a 4v1. We're having a 4v1 asymmetrical horror boom now, aren't we? We're like, we're like in it. We're like in it, in it, right? Because we got Prop Night. We got VHS coming out soon. And now we have this. So, we're, this is a, this is a fun time to like horror movies, horror games. It's a fun time. We got a lot of stuff coming, so it's cool. Let's get excited. Let's get hype. Let's uh, even if this game doesn't turn out to be like the best, we should definitely like look into it and give it a, a just a one thousand percent fair chance because this is just a good time. Like I said, it's just a good time for, for the four v one horror genre because it's just been kind of like a big monopoly on uh, DVDs and of things for like a really, really long time. So now we have all these like fresh options. Even if we don't like them, see like, I don't like Prop Night. You know, I don't like Prop Night. VHS looks super fun and I can't wait to get a key to actually try it because it looks really, really fun and entertaining. And I can't wait to see how this game turns out. We have options, we have flavors, which is really, really cool. And I'm really, really excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my take and my thoughts on the upcoming new gun media game. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts on what you think about uh, the upcoming uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game down in the comments below. If you like to hear me rant about it, do the likey like. Um, and if you want to stick around for more videos, do the subaronis. On that, anything else for you, thank you for watching, and I will see you when I see you, friends. Bye bye.